okay so this is the message I can also change the font color or foreground color of the these this messages also so that it shows in the red okay so just control and select all this these and go to four color and select red so it will show the message in red okay once this is done we will connect our requested field validator with this text box so how will it know that it has to show this message when this field is empty so just select uh, your field validator and just go here and we will search for control to validate so this is the control which it will look for to validate this message so for the first control this is username so I will choose text box username second is for email so just select this required field option from here and go to control to validate and choose text box email third was for password so text box password fourth was for repeat password and fifth was for the country name drop down country now in here we also need to provide a initial value because if user doesn't select anything then we need to show this message also so the initial value will is here is select country so just open this and copy this select country from here and just select this option once again required field validation and in here in the properties search for initial value and paste whatever you have copied from here and paste it here okay so this is also done now our password we cannot show it to the outside world so we need to protect our password so what we will do is we will select our text box for the password and select text mode and we say it's a password and confirm password also it once more select your confirm password text box and we will select this as password okay all this is done now for example you need to confirm password you need to check whether this password and this password field matches so whatever you have uh, entered in this text box you should enter in this text box so how will you validate that and confirm that your password in these both fields are same so there is a validator for this also which is compare validator so just choose this compare validator and drag and drop in this cell where you have confirmed password is required and drag and drop here and in here change the error message so you can say both password must be same okay and what you can do here is just select the first option which is required field and click our arrow button and press enter so it shows on the second line okay and just select it and change the font of this also four color also red and 
here we also provide the control to val validate control to validate is this field which is text box repeat password and the control to compare also we need to provide so it will compare with this password field so we will choose this control to compare and choose the text box password okay so this also we have done now to validate the email also email somebody can write his name and this will not be a regular email id and you also want to uh, validate your email id or whatever user have entered the email id it should be uh, a valid email id it should not be any random text so you can also validate that also by using a validator called regular expression re validator regular expression is nothing but it just check for the pattern for example it checks for the email pattern and if user have uh, it matches the pattern of email then it will say okay you have entered the right email otherwise it will show the message so drag and drop this regular expression validator in here in wherever you have email is required requested validator and in here we can also change the message from here we write you must enter the valid email id okay and we can change the four color of this also once again really quick okay and i will choose select it and from my arrow keys i will just press enter here okay now my messages are done now what i need to do is i need to submit this form so for that i will need a button so i will drag and drop a button here which will submit my form so i will change the text of my button as some submit and for example i need to reset all the fields also so what i will do is i will go to this uh, html field here and i will choose this input reset button i will drag and drop it here and it already have the text reset so i will not change the text of this and now what i will do is i will just select this button and i will double click it so when i submit my form it should show me some message that if all the fields are correct then registration is successful so i will write register okay so it's not register but response dot right and on the successful submission of your form whatever message you want to show just show it here so you can write this here is your registration is successful okay let me make it bigger so you can see it and now i think you are ready to run the program if some error comes then we will see it later so just choose this start debugging you can run your program like this also just click this button or second option is just right click your project and say view in browser and it will show a message say yes and you can see whatever forms you have here registration aspx 
you can see it here and it will open your registration.aspx and it's showing some some uh, error and it sh says that the control to validate property of regular expression is not filled yes we have not given the property for this regular expression field you must enter the valid email id but we haven't linked it to this control so what we will do is we will choose this control to validate and choose we will choose text box email id and the second thing is what kind of validation we want to give to our validator so we want to check email id with this validator so what you need to do is just select this regular expression validator from here and go to the property and search for validate expression this validate expression checks for the pattern of for example the email id there are some other option also just go here and click this button and we will search for the internet email address regular expression just select this because we are validating internet email id right and click ok now when i run the program this time i will run it from here and say ok and this time you can see your registration page right and for example i write a username programming knowledge for example email id let's enter a wrong email id some text random text and then immediately you see here you must enter a valid email id then we will enter a password and we will repeat our password once again and we will choose our country okay and we will submit the form and it says you haven't entered the valid email id let's enter a valid email id for example xyz at the rate gmail.com and let's delete this confirm password and let's check whether it shows the message or not yes it so shows that confirm password is required for example we enter some random text which is which does not matches this password and now it so shows both password must match okay for example we select no country then it says select a country name for example we doesn't select a username it shows username is required and if everything is perfect you can submit your form and you can see the message here your registration is successful so in this way you can create a registration form using your validation keys right so i hope you have learned how to create a registration page and in the later videos further videos i will show you how to connect this form with the database and how to save all these values which you enter here into the database and then make a login page so that you can validate the the data and then login into the site so just keep watching